hi welcome again today i'm going to show you how to blend a static mesh or a rock like this into the ground or the landscape in a nice way right now you can clearly see the seams and it doesn't look nice and let me show you how to fix this very quickly so here uh, with open land we have widget i'm going to run this and here we have a big button called add rvt support i'm going to click that here we can see some volumes on the uh, world outline i'm going to select them i'm gonna select these virtual textures right now you can see these rocks are clearly blending into my landscape and i can move them into any place i like they will uh, get the ground information and it blends really nice so here we are using the runtime virtual texture support of unreal engine but here we are using open lands rvt tools to make it a little bit easier to use all right let me start from scratch first of all you need to get the open land landscape material from the marketplace but if you're using this for trying out or for a non-commercial project you can directly get it from the github and check the description below for all these links and then you need to create your landscape using the open land landscape material that's the main requirement and then we need to have a couple of mega scan rocks loaded into the scene like this but here you don't really need to use a mega scan rock you can bring any other static mesh and that's totally fine then i'm going to go to edit project settings and search for virtual texturing and here we have a section called virtual textures and make sure you click this checkbox next to enable virtual texture support in this case i have already clicked that in your case you have to click this and then you have to restart your project all right now let's try to implement this functionality first i need to select this mega scan rock and then i can go to the details panel and here we have the material i'm gonna double click on this and here we have the material instance simply scroll to the bottom now you have the actual material double click and open that we have a material and you know it's using material attributes that's why you can see a single line over here okay then right click and search for use open land rvt tools here we have a node like this and simply click that right now connect your material attributes via here and then get the modified material and connect it to the actual material output then i can simply save this all right uh, let's close this now let's try to open the material instance again and here now we have a uh, some set of new options called enable rvt blending so i'm going to select this checkbox and i'm going to enable that one here we have some settings i'll get back to this in a moment right now you can see some uh, like purplish uh, color like this sometimes it could be dark and the reason is we have not enabled rvt support in full and let me show you how to do that go to your content directory here we have a directory called open line and uh, we have another directory called widgets all right then uh, right click on this uh, open LAN rvt widget and click this button run editor utility widget and then uh, make sure to select the landscape on the world outline and then hit this add rvt support button right in this case it will add some volume into the scene so this will help in the rvt process and here we have some instructions on how to do some changes uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, I'm going to select this height volume and go to the details panel. On the virtual texture section, select the virtual texture, height texture, height volume, height virtual texture. And then here we have a material volume and then we need to select the uh, material virtual texture. Now go to file and click save all. Right then now you can close this widget. Now you can already see the blending effect. It will get the ground information from the landscape and you can see them on the rock. Then if you simply change the sea location, you can see the actual material. But if you go closer to the landscape, it will get the, the color from the landscape. Basically, you can put the rock in anywhere you like and, and it will get the ground information and it, it looks quite nice. All right, now let's try to play with some uh, blending options. I'm going to grab my material instance let me keep it like this so i can clearly see the uh, the rock as well as my settings window here we have some options like this first one is blending intensity i can set it to zero you can see we don't do any blending and then here we have blending smoothness this will control the height of the blend for example if i put it lower 
Now I don't see much of blending in my rock. Now I can increase this value and it will uh, it will reach the the whole uh, rock. Looks nice. And then here we have some blend contrast. So basically it will uh, it will control the contrast of this blend. You can increase this value and so you can clearly uh, see how it works by changing this slider. All right, now here we have something uh, quite important value, normal sharpness. So let me increase this normal sharpness. Now you can see it will actually try to add the sand texture, the ground texture into these slope areas as well. And in this case, it doesn't look nice. So you can control this. Of course, you can control this contrast as well. But let's put that to default. Uh, we can work with the sharpness. So, so basically, we can try to blend this landscape in the uh, slope area as well but sometimes it doesn't look good especially in a cases like this so in that case you need to put it to default or just try to reduce the number but sometimes uh, you can increase this value and try to get a, a really nice look it's always up to you try to play with the settings and uh, get the look that you really want right uh, in this case i'm really happy with this let me show you the before and after so this is without any blending and I can clearly see seams and it doesn't look nice. Now it's really nice. All right, this is the RVT blending support in open land and it's quite easy to use. I hope this will be helpful for you. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.